that when every time I'm trying to film, something needs to make noise. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Did you guys miss me? Because I missed you guys so much. We have a lot to catch up on. Like a lot, a lot of stuff to catch up on. So where do we begin? Okay, here's the team. I have decided to classify this video in three different categories. Okay, so y'all know I ramble when we do chit chat videos. So trying to keep up. Try and keep up. Okay, people, please try and keep up. <laughs> so um, I have three different parts of this video i don't even know how long it's gonna be probably like 30 40 an hour it depends on how much i want to talk and i am running on a lot of coffee so we're gonna be talking for a while anywho so here's the team the first part of this video is basically going to be oh my god are you supposed to turn me i don't even care no more the first part of this video is going to be a life update video i tell you guys what has been happening why i have been off for two and a half weeks okay the second part of the video we're just gonna talk about all the lessons i have learned in 2022 and then the last part of this video is i'm gonna share with you guys all my goals and targets and whatever all this kind of stuff that i want for 2023 both personal and career wise so let's get on with this video because there's a lot of weight and i feel like we're gonna get blown away and you guys are in a very compromising situation i had to follow the light i had to follow the sun so i had to move stuff around i don't even want to show you because this this looks insane anyway so let's quickly and more importantly jump on to this video so guys i know for sure that i have not been acting actually here's the thing y'all think i've not been posting videos on youtube child i haven't been online for the last two weeks like properly i'm online doing what no i haven't i haven't the last two weeks have probably been the busiest time that i've ever had this year and also the best times that i've ever had this year i'm gonna tell you why first of all y'all see the surrounding does this look like my bedroom does this look like where we used mm -mm, this is a different surrounding okay we're outside and it's quiet except me who's probably making noise for the entire community okay we finally moved to a dream house Oh, I could cry, but um, I don't have any tears. <laughs> but uh, we finally moved in. That is the reason why I had to stop Vlogmas. Um, I think I, actually it's 12. Vlogmas 13 was me, it's called grasping, classing, whatever I was, trying to get as much videos as possible because I promised you guys 25 videos of Vlogmas, but it wasn't going to happen. So let's just say I did 12 videos. I did 12 days of Christmas instead of 25. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. The last two weeks have been hectic, y'all. Because actually the last two and a half weeks, because two, um, when I, okay, the first week before we moved in, the week prior to us moving in, was a lot of cleaning, a lot of last minute conclusion, a lot of this, a lot of that, a lot of these other things, just a lot of stuff, okay? And then, after that, the moving, oh my god, the moving, the moving was insane. Do you want to know why? We're fighting with time, because we had to be... Um, we had to be have settled down what the, what, where did my English go we had to have been settled down before Christmas because my mother was hosting our entire family and 90% of them were gonna sleep okay overnight so we had to get the bedrooms in order um we literally moved in two days two freaking days with the movers and the everything to get all the stuff here um to try and organize as much as possible the first part that was completely complete actually was this rooftop this roof rooftop tires it was completed so quickly because it's basically the furniture um they were assembled and everything in the first day of moving but the bedrooms y'all the bedrooms uh, they needed like three days to get it done and they did it the mover style so we kind of have to go back and do it ourselves the way we wanted it to be but most importantly everything is stacked into the closet okay nobody's gonna see them everything is stacked into the closet but the living room and the kitchen the living room dining area kitchen area that was the most important part and that is why we put all the effort and energy to make it look organized before we had guests come over so christmas went 
great okay we managed to have everything in order before um our guests arrived so today is actually the 28th <laughs> And the last of our guests left yesterday, the 27th. So we had guests since um, 24th. 20, actually 23rd. We had guests since 23rd, 24th, 5th, 6th, and yesterday they left. So it was busy and I couldn't really get any content at any point. Now when we're moving, now we're in, when we were having Christmas, and none of that. So I was like, since we're in the process of getting ourselves back together our house back together to the point that actually when i said yesterday everyone left including our stuff we have no stuff there until like january 15th because we need time to get our house in order and rest because we haven't really enjoyed the house like you know just sitting down doing nothing just like this we haven't so yeah that's basically what's been, what's been happening y'all that's why i went offline because i was like there's really no way i can balance because i was freaking exhausted by the end of the day and i cannot sit down for three hours editing at that time i know you're not supposed to sacrifice your career if you love something you always have time for it but it's also fatigue so after all of that um everything kind of settled somehow and then i was like maybe i can put out a video but then i was like you know what no I'm gonna keep on taking especially this week off because this is our new year's is, is in what three days four days so like, I'm gonna take this couple of days off and then I'm gonna come back to YouTube better relaxed um recharged for 2023 that is why the first video after my break is being posted on January 1st 2023 I could have posted it posted it at midnight but no girl i think i'm gonna post it okay it's gonna <laughs> i think y'all have already seen it it's gonna go up on a 4 p.m or 2 p.m depending so yeah y'all it's like here's the thing since i started this channel except missing two to three uploading days i have always been taking content in been filming and everything so this was a good thing to have a like a week's break at the end of, i think i'm gonna be doing this every year the last week of the year i'm not gonna do anything i'm just gonna recharge and re evaluate my channel see here to see i stepped out and looked at my channel and i have pointers on how i can make my channel better so this is gonna be an amazing year for my channel because i have all the energy built up and i don't know i feel like I feel like this is it. I feel like I am ready now. Okay, because I had that little break to myself. I haven't even turned on my computer in, I think, a week. Okay, since we moved in, I haven't turned on the computer. I don't, I don't even think it's connected. Let's start from there. It's because, you know... And I think something else that really pushed to this break was the fact that um, Wi-Fi wasn't set up. I cannot work without Wi-Fi because my entire career revolves around Wi-Fi. So that was also a part of why I did not. Um, I, I'm, what am I talking about? I had a break. That was a good break. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Now, part two. <laughs> I don't even know why I say part two. Um, but now here's the deal. We've had, or the, well, who is we? I have had an insane year because this year a lot has happened. Like emotionally and physically and like mentally career wise a lot has happened and i told you guys when i did that recap 2022 recap video i told you guys about all of that if you didn't watch that video you can go back i'm gonna link it down below probably you can go back and check it out i don't know if it was like vlogmas 12 or something that i did um a video about my 2022 recap but i'm gonna add on to that and talk about the lessons I learned from this year first of all the one major thing that I learned this year is that I can easily start over like I don't know why it was so easy okay it wasn't a hundred percent easy but I have the ability to start over like when I deleted my channel it was at 5,000 subscribers y'all but I was like it's not representing what I want like it didn't give me how, how am I gonna explain this it did not portray what how I wanted to be portrayed like how my content and everything why is there don't even mind there's a lot of different um 
shadows on me right now but uh that channel did not represent what i wanted as a content creator it had everything in the mix so i realized i am very brave to toss that aside and start a new channel that i am almost like at a hundred posts right now i have um like a thousand and eighty subscribers y'all with over i think fifteen thousand total views y'all i know it's not much for you guys because you know you're used to seeing bigger youtubers but for me it's something given that i abandoned not really abandoned i let go of a channel that i've had i think since i started my youtube career that was in 2018 it was the same channel even when i redid it again in 2020 but like i said in that video third time is really the charm so i kind of learned that about myself i learned that when every time i'm trying to film something needs to make noise every time every time i get down to talking like this sit down video something has to make noise but it's okay so what was i talking about again this is why i don't like getting distracted i was talking about the fact that i was brave enough okay and i just started afresh and i cannot i can here's the thing i'm very happy with, with the channel that i have right now because when i look at it i am proud of the videos that i'm putting on i am proud of i don't know i think i've always just wanted to become a lifestyle vlogger like i don't know something about showing people your lifestyle you know you kind of want to grow in the middle of it all like you kind of want to develop yourself into someone that you know you have always wanted to be as as you keep on filming and everything i don't know how to explain it but i hope you understand it but that's the feeling that i'm having right now with my channel i'm so proud about that something that i learned this year y'all oh my god you see how people have attachment attachment issues it's called attachment issues yeah okay for me i think i can easily touch yo i dropped friends this year like a bag of tomato i didn't even feel nothing because i learned this year that me myself and i i'm the only person who matters to myself like if i like if me and your relationship is not going as well as it should be or i feel like it's not helping me in any way i'm out 100 percent, i'm out and that's and that like that thing that i've that i have like you know, i'm losing my words but that thing that i have in me that i can easily get out of a relationship friendship or you know platonic or actual relationship with love relationship and whatever the fact that i can easily walk away from it and not even look back child that was that is that is hella that is hella cool okay i didn't know i was doing it until like i started recapping my year i realized that i have separated myself from a lot of people who i feel like as being like friends or in a relationship and stuff is really not beneficial for me and if i find that it's not beneficial i go point blank period and I know it's a bad thing for some people but for me it means that I finally understood my worth I finally understood what I want in this life and if it's not you my apologies but it's not you I'm gonna walk away and I think walking away was the best thing. like I've walked away from really toxic stuff in this this year like I just say goodbye okay goodbye and I'm out also in that way I have finally understood exactly like what i would want in like if i ever go back into dating okay so i already understand what i want what i don't want because that was tested too this year um i talked you know i was talking to a couple of guys and then i'm like you know for me mm -mm, your ideologies your mental capacity your thinking capacity is not up at par with me so being in a relationship with you is gonna be tedious rather than fun for me so goodbye no find somebody else to do it and again like i said it might be a bad thing for some people like a horrible thing like for me to think that way because i know a lot of people don't agree with my ideology but for me i'm protecting myself from the negative the toxic everything even if you're family <laughs> child you're gonna also gonna get the boot i don't care if your family 
or we're close enough to be family i don't care if our energies our vibe is not matching anymore bye 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 so this year <laughs> this year has been that last year has been insane basically and i am glad everything happened the way it happened because now i can go into 2023 with a lot of new ideas with my brain more open i am scared that this thing is gonna fly away if you see me looking away it's because there's a long there's a lot of breeze although this thing is bolted to the floor i feel like it's gonna poof it's just gonna go and um it's just not gonna be good it's, like, it's just a tent but it's bolted to the floor i don't even know why anywho besides the point going into 2023 i have bigger better bolder ways of living my life okay now 2023 is my year i know people say that all the time but i have never in my life said a year is my year i've never because for me i'm always like eh, another year let's go on with it but this year y'all this is it this is my year to conquer this year is all about me i don't care i don't care about anything else that's happening i don't care this year i am focusing on none other than myself my mental health my physical health my emotional health my all-rounded health even my career everything i am doing everything i can to be the best version of myself this year it doesn't matter in what way okay i want to grow emotionally i want to grow physically i want to grow my career i want to grow everything now i have my goals different like they are organized different in my head because I haven't written them down yet because I don't know okay I'm gonna create a vision board for them but not right now <laughs> until I set up my computer and the, all that kind of stuff but um for me I have personal goals and I have career goals and then I have education goals because for me I feel like personal stuff that you're not supposed to yes you're supposed to be all rounded and look at them like one like i don't know you have to look at every aspect of your life as one but for me i separate them because my personal um my personal goals are 100 percent now my career goals those are two very different things so i treat them like two very different things so for example i have personal goals that i want to achieve this year and on my personal goals they include my mental health my physical health like i want to get healthier this year like i don't know there's a time i was in the groove okay of eating healthy working out um and all that kind of stuff and it kind of stopped in the middle and everything got overwhelming but now i want to take care of myself 100 percent because i've finally realized why i've been failing the last couple of years is because my main focus is to lose the weight but that is not a goal that's not a long time goal like why do you really want to get into the healthy lifestyle so i just realized that for me right now is the fact that i just don't want to have to struggle with lifestyle diseases when i'm young basically i don't want no diabetes i don't want no cholesterol and all that i don't want to have to struggle with that at 23 because i'm turning 23 next year this year child i have to I have to remember we're in the new year i'm turning 23 this year so i don't have to like i don't have to like stress myself that oh maybe i have cholesterol or maybe i'm gonna get diabetes because of how i eat no i want all of that to be behind me like that's why I kind of want to be as healthy as I can. Yes, I'm going to eat the fried food. Yes, I might eat, I might eat takeout once in a while. But the point is um, to create a lifestyle that will match me in all ways. Because the point of having a healthy lifestyle doesn't mean you never eat fries. It has never meant that. Never, ever, ever. You can eat your damn fries. It's just that regu moderation that's it that's the word i'm looking for everything should be in moderation so for me i'm kind of trying to learn that like you know i have healthy habits um wake up um i have a, like this weird goal in my head to start waking up at 4 30. here's the tea the reason why i want to wake up at 4 30 is because i'm gonna start school again in may and that means 8 a.m class sometimes and that means i need to work out that morning okay i need to cook a healthy breakfast 
okay because no missing breakfast missing breakfast is a bad bad thing okay so when am i gonna get that time and still make it to school by 8 a.m had to wake up way earlier so that's kind of one of my personal goals basically just create healthy habits that work with my lifestyle work with my schedule and everything because that's the right thing to do don't just grab someone else's routines and use them as your own like to the latter because you don't know what they have to do i know a girl who wakes up at nine o'clock a.m or is it 10 and she has her own her whole morning thingy and then she has her first meal at midday but you see the thing is she works at night she comes home way late in the night so you might think oh i'm gonna also start waking up at 10 but you have work at night so it's not gonna happen what happens was what happens is that you just look at their habits look at their routines and then you create one with their inspiration you create one that works with you and that's kind of the goal that i have this year okay now the other goal that i have for me personally for my personal thing is just to learn a skill you know like i always envy these girls women women or girls who are so elegant do you get it like everything they do is so elegant yes people tell me i have like a class of myself but i'm still not where i want it to be it's not like faking a lifestyle don't come at me with that kind of crap no it's elevating what you already know like for example i know i talk hella fast the point that i kind of miss the words i'm saying if you've not noticed in this video i have tried to speak as slower as like as slow as i can i know i speak very quickly and it's been affecting like how i come out on youtube because i just okay when i'm doing a chit chat it's just and then i start missing letters to a word and then i have to edit out a lot of stuff so that's kind of what i'm avoiding i know i'm trying to speak slower and in a lower like i don't know i just want to be mellow when i'm speaking why because when i argue with someone and then my voice goes down instead of up they panic so i kind of want it you know my voice to be settled i'm not gonna talk like this yoga guru people but i'm gonna try and make my voice very like i'm gonna try and pronounce every word in the letter what did i just say do you see what i'm talking about my brain is going hella fast and i'm trying to slow my tongue i don't even know what i'm doing so like that's the kind of stuff that i want to like start doing in 2023 now the other topic i think i'm going to talk about with the goals of 2023 is with my channel now oh my god this is a terrible angle this is the only angle that's gonna work for me i want my channel to be something this year it doesn't have to get to it doesn't have to get to like a million subscribers no i want my channel to finally look the way i want it to do you get it like of course i have number goals for the channel okay by the end of the year i want to have like i want to like post three two to three times a week no break no nothing except the last week of december unless something happens that prevents me from putting out content i'm gonna work extra hard to make sure two to three videos are posted every single week roughly 250 videos by the end of this year and that will also come with i want to get to over a hundred thousand almost 500,000 total views on my channel and then with that I want to have 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year so I have the number goal for my channel for the uploads for the views for the subscribers for the watch time for everything this is also the year where I want my channel to get finally to finally get monetized because hello hello we need to get the money okay but besides all of that the main goal that I have for the channel is I want my channel to be perfect in my eyes not anybody else's eyes just mine I want to put out videos that I am okay putting it on a fucking big screen and sitting down with people watching it I want videos to go out that I have put effort all like I'm gonna <laughs> I want to give my all to every single video that I post because if I don't do that then what am I doing I can't put out a video that I'm not proud of and expect you guys to like it if I don't like it why is it out 
Do you get it? And I want to implement this more and more. Like I'm going to try and do the best I can to post out the best videos that I can. Period. No, that's that's the only that's the main goal that I have for my channel this year. I'm going to produce videos that I enjoy, that I would want to watch, that I will want to binge watch, not just watch but binge watch it. And if they come out with that, I'm going to be happy. That means you're going to be happy. That means every other goals the number goals for the channel are actually gonna get met but first things first is to meet the goal for how I'm gonna present my channel and if that goal goes through like if every single video I post three videos two videos a week I don't really care how many even if it's just one okay quality over quantity sometimes is the best way to go but um if I start like if I focus on producing good quality videos you guys are gonna start loving so the views will come in the subscribers will come in the monetization will come in and everything else will follow so the main thing that I really want to work on is the videos themselves okay I have weekly vlogs that I'm gonna be posting every single week on Sunday okay Sundays weekly vlogs go up right and then I have chit chat videos that are gonna go up when when they're gonna go up I feel like Tuesday or Wednesday, Tuesday, okay? And then I have one extra lifestyle video that's probably gonna be going up on Friday. And this lifestyle video is basically, you know, restaurant tours or morning routines or I travel somewhere and I vlogged it, you know? So that is what I'm saying, three videos a week. One is a weekly vlog. The second one um, is a chit chat and then the other one is a lifestyle video because this is a lifestyle channel. So besides showing you guys what I'm doing with my life, there's also the part where I'm showing you the fun parts, you know? Like when I go, like let's say I travel to like let's say South Africa, right? That's a weekly vlog. But when I go to a restaurant that is popular or a destination that is popular, I'm going to show you that because why the fuck not? But mostly i want to focus on never missing an uploading day meaning two videos will go up every single week come rain come sunshine point blank period and that's what i want to that's the thing i want to program my mind i want to program my mind to think that way so i don't get any other ideas so that is such a loud car or freaking motorcycle so basically you guys that is what i wanted to share with you um i hope you enjoyed this video i know it feels kind of all over the place i understand but i just i don't know i just wanted to talk to you guys nothing is scripted it's just the stuff that are in my head okay especially like my goals for the year the things i learned from last year what i'm gonna implement this year okay also the reason i'm starting to move around is because i don't really like this shadow that's on my face but <laughs> we're at the end of the video anyway so it's okay so yeah guys i think that's it for the video okay um i'm just i'm overjoyed and i'm filled with excitement like not the one that was on the face you know the excitement that come from within you like somewhere deep is you might be mad at something but something deep inside you is happy like there's this excitement that i'm feeling that i don't even understand it but besides the point besides the point you guys i think i'm gonna end this video right here i don't really have any more I, I don't really have anything else to add I have said everything that I wanted to say in this video I don't think I have anything else that I can add except the fact that conquer this year yourself you know like you where you are I don't know your dreams I don't know your goals I don't know your plans for the year but make sure you accomplish 99% of them because why else would you create them also make sure they're very 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 realistic don't say you want to be a billionaire by the end of the year and you're not even a hundred now you don't even have a job no no you kind of need to be realistic you know maybe you know go step by step you need life life is a ladder like you have to climb on a ladder to get here to get here so <laughs> 
obviously we had better for but you get it that is all i had for you today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and comment down below what more you want to see on my channel this year and you can share your dreams and plans down in the comment below if you want to i reply to each and every one of my comments and i am excited to go through this year with you guys hand in hand last year we weren't together for the whole year we, the first two months weren't together but i am ready to go through a whole year with you guys changing learning developing exploring all this kind of stuff so with that guys i'm gonna see you in the next video goodbye she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her